Hey, what's going on, guys? Shit on, shit on, shit on. So, yeah, guys, glazing them on the drain. Um, shit on, guys. Hope all this well today. Um, <clears throat> I want to um pray against uh soul hunters. So, soul hunters. That's what we're gonna be praying against. And um, unfortunately, a lot of people don't even know what that is. I mean, I'm pretty sure we heard stuff like that in movies, but as far when it comes to the body of Christ, people that never dawns on people. As believers of Christ, it seems like we don't think about those same things. Of course, if you're a child of God, it has to be something that's, you know, when you think about it, it's a soul hunter. Of course, why wouldn't the devil hunt the souls of a child of God? So, you know, a lot of people really don't know that their souls are held captive. A lot of people's souls have been, you know, sold. And they don't even know. It. They're walking around. You might see them walking around. You might see them in the church. But their souls have been sold. So, um... It's a very unfortunate situation. So that's why a lot of people are in bondage, going through affliction. That's why a lot of people are pretty much, you know, controlled. <clears throat> because, you know, a lot of us don't know that I saw have been captured. You know, snare. Um, so, you know, John 10, 10. The, the enemy come up for the steal, and kill, and destroy. But the Lord came that we might have life more exceeding, have life and have it more abundantly. <clears throat> so, you know, me in those times where, you know, the generation, this generation, um, where men will wax worse. And um, of course, they, they will hate those that are righteous, um, those that are of good. And they're going to be used to come against the children of God. And in these days, of course, witchcraft is pretty much, that's the last, that is Satan's, you know, pretty much is, is to go to to try to destroy the church, the body of Christ, and try to sift as many people as possible into the pit with him. So um, I'm going to be going against. Uh, pretty much praying against soul hunters. So, in life, there are physical and spiritual markets. And it is a spiritual market of darkness where souls are captured by soul hunters. And when this is a market, spiritual marketplace where souls are sold. And many people today have souls have been captured and sold, yet we are oblivious of it. It is a, it is a tragedy to be a commodity of darkness and not know it. And a man can actually be living physically while his soul has been sold off. Like I say, people can walk, be walking around, smiling and things like that, or doing whatever their souls have been sold. So unfortunately, a lot of people, families, members, souls have been sold off. So, like I said, if you read the scriptures, it's not home three, four, the spirit of Babylon, Jezebel, says, because of the multitude of the whoredoms of the well fabled harlot, the mistress of witchcrafts that selleth victims through her whoredoms and the families through her witchcraft. So, a lot of us, you know, exchange our souls and destinies, our health, virtues, God's plan, purpose for our life by simply, um, <clears throat> you know, um, laying down with the wrong person. Of course, other way, like, of course, first and foremost, and getting married to the wrong person. <clears throat> so, you know, you lay down with the wrong person, you, that person, that husband and wife wasn't your ordained spouse or ordained husband and wife. So, you you lay down with a marine spirit. You could have possibly laid down with a spirit of, um, a familiar spirit, a monitor spirit, and <clears throat> this spirit has, has exchanged your finances, your, your glory, your star, your virtues, your health for their health. So, this is this is deeper than flesh. Remember, we for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against powers, against um, powers, principalities, rulers of darkness of this world, spiritual wickedness in heavenly places. So that's what we're dealing with. So now, other ways the powers hunt for souls of men are through the mouth gate, <coughs> through your mouth. <coughs> Many people are truly never initiated by the soul hunters through the food they eat, physically, physically, or in the dream. So, like I said, um, if you ever eat, see yourself eating in a dream. Physical expression, this is a way for them to exchange your destiny, your glory, your soul, your virtues, your star. So this is a way for them to sell off anything that God has given you. And um, this can be done by marine spirits. This can be done by witches. This can be done by familiar spirits and mother spirits. We have another one. Um, and also demonic caterers. They call demonic caterers. They come in your dream to feed you. And they're called saunders. So in the Bible, of Jeremiah 5, 26 to 20, it says, that These wicked men I said these wicked men um make merchandise of souls that are kept. So we give me the one, witches are witches. They make merchandise out of us. It's just like going to the candy store and selling off 
um, merchandise. So I'm gonna continue. Um, so I have another. I even have a, um, like an example. So it says the girl may not die immediately, but gradually she will continue to degenerate. So of course, if your soul is sold off, your body will start to die off. So your body will start to break down. So we decree and declare that you no, know, any soul hunter would not will overcome you, and it will be far from you. In Jesus' name, we shall overcome by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimony. And through warfare and, and aggression, we shall get, we shall recover anything that, is, that has been sold or stolen. In Jesus' name. And tragically, a man can sell his soul for money. You know the scripture. The Lord said, what would it cost a man's soul to gain the whole world? But it loses his own soul. So, you know, you have people that's rich in this world. You have football players, basketball players, singers, rappers, movie stars, or any you know, politician, anything. So they sold for riches and they sold off their their soul to the devil. And a man can so this is a story, a story I'm gonna read it to you. And by the way, this is um this is not my own finding out. Of course this is by listening to other men that have wisdom and I took heed to it. So this is by um this uh let me see. I'm trying to find a guy's name. It's not on here. But um, this is not for me at all. I'm just passing the word around. Of course, the Lord said, um, you know, we, we ought to be watchmen for those who, you know, pretty much walk in error. Because if we don't speak the word, there's blood on our hands. If we don't speak this word to people, you know, there's blood on our hands. So for me to you, the Lord wants us to live, you know, righteous. If we don't, we're gonna, we're gonna, it's going to be uh, um, an incident where the devil is going to take your soul and you're going to be sold off just by living a life of transgression, iniquity, and um, a life of sin. So, you know, it's never too late now to repent, tear the way, accept the Lord, Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior, and um, seek the Lord. So, um, the story says, tragically, a man can sell his soul for money. A man came to me for deliverance. He joined a particular cult that instructed him on what to do to have money. They told him to choose short life and death of his firstborn. So you have people that can sacrifice their daughter and their son for long life. So, of course, if you read the book of Exodus 22, verse 18, it says, Though um, thou shalt not suffer which to live, of course. And, of course, um, verses 19 and 20, it says, um, Those that sacrifice unto any God should be utterly destroyed. But, of course, the Lord is a God of mercy and grace. So I'm going to read it. So, he's, so, of course, this guy repented. Said, um, said he agreed and did not sell only his, his soul, but also... That of his firstborn. So it says, Thanks be to God for deliverance. After his confession, his son was delivered, and the money also was mysteriously disappeared. So, you know, the Lord is a God of mercy. That's why the second covenant is so much better than that first covenant. You know, if we was all if if, if we were under the first covenant still today, and he did that, all he had to do was do that one time, he'd be destroyed. All that we had to do was think the wrong thing right now about someone, and um, it'll be over for me. But that's why Jesus Christ the Lord God Almighty gave his only begotten son for us to sacrifice his life, shed his blood on carry for all of our sins so that we will not perish for eternity but have eternal life. So it's about the grace. If you read Hebrews 12, 24, it says, but, um, by the sprinkling of blood, it says, Jesus is the mediator of the new covenant and by the blood of sprinkling we speak of better things that are able. So it's, it's speaks, it speaks better things than that first covenant that Moses and Abraham were under and Adam and Eve, of course. So, you know, just by that first covenant, that's why we're in the state that we're in today. Because Satan deceived them. And the, the, the ground is cursed. So, you know, the ground that we walk on is cursed. So it's up to us to, you know, pretty much turn this earth into, into bless. We have power over the over the ground. He gave, he said this, he said it to Adam and Eve. He said, I give you to, um, he said this, I give unto you the domain to, have, to multiply, to replenish, to subdue the earth. Um to um, have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the fowl of the air, and over the, um, you know, every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So he wanted to, he said, you know, I'm going to give you the, um, the, 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 the domain, sorry, the dominion to, um, you know, have power over the herb, every green herb, and every herb you didn't see. But of course, Satan stopped that, manipulated them, bewitched them by witchcraft. So the same thing is being done today. Only thing is, we can repent today and be forgiven. But you're going to have people that are never going to repent. 
and never will for, um, ask for forgiveness. You know, you have people that are f fully taking over their soul, their conscience, their soul to Satan. So they pretty much, they had to be destroyed. There's no other, there's no forgiveness, no repentance for them. They had to be taken off the earth. Um, so um, Matthew 16, 26, and this is the real scripture. For what is a man profit if he, should, if he shall gain the whole um, world and lose his own soul? Or what should a man give in exchange for his own soul? So when he saw him to summon the spirit, they can summon your, your spirit through incantations and chambers. It's called an invocation. They invoke your spirit to the grave. They can invoke your spirit on the altar. They can invoke your spirit through black magic. And it will be forms of manifestations after this. So it said the people might find themselves in strange places in a dream. So if you find yourself in a strange dream, this is someone that's invoking your spirit in your soul. So if you're not strong in prayer, if your spirit may not strong, you will be invoked. So it says some might exhibit suicidal thoughts. And it's due to because of soreness. Others, others might have a lifeless feeling or unexplainable sickness. You know, sickness that you can't even get rid of. And it's due because of them. Some of some of the places where these soul hunters are found are in clubhouses, prostitute joints, beer parlors, pepper soup joints, and witch doctors, altars, or shrines. And there are some places where people practice witchcraft and so-called fellowships as well. It's even in the church. Yeah, witches and warlocks and sources in the church that are opposing their prophets, teachers, servants of Christ, and they're called agents of the devil. They call agents at the point. So this is where people are controlled by visions and false prophecies. Any place where you have stepped into and your soul has been hunted, received deliverance. So we need we're gonna pray for deliverance. And we have a few scriptures that even explain the incident incidences of Oh, so hundreds of people, souls being captured. So go with me to the book of Isaiah 52. Let's go to the book of Isaiah 52. This is Isaiah 52, verses 2 through 6. So for the Lord, before we read the scripture, Heavenly Father, take full control. We thank you, we bless you, we give you all the honor, all the glory. But God, as we do this, these prayers, may your spirit go before us and execute. In Jesus' name, we bless you. We cover ourselves and mind, body, soul, and spirit. We cover all of our lovers with the precious pour the blood of Jesus Christ from the top of our head to the soul of our feet. We bless you, we give you all the honor, all the glory, all the adoration. Be there magnified, be there glorified. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, we pray. Amen. So it says this, awake, awake. So this is what the Lord is saying. You know, a lot of us sit around thinking, you know, we gotta get things restored back to us. We had the warfare. That's why the Lord said, Great is he that's in you than him that's in the world. Luke 10 19 said, Behold, I give unto you power to show up a service and scorpions, but about all the power of the enemy and nothing shall my enemies hurt. So these witches and witches and so on, they're serpents and scorpions, they're being used by demons. So the Lord is saying this in chapter 52, verse 1. It says, Awake, awake. Put on thy strength, O Zion. Put on thy beautiful garments, O Jerusalem, with the holy city. For henceforth, it shall no more come unto thee, the uncircumcised and the unclean. Shake thyself for the dust of those. He said, shake yourself off and arise and sit down. So the Lord doesn't want us to slumber in, in depression and just give up and just allow our situation to be. Get up, the Lord. Shake thyself for the dust. Arise and sit down, O Jerusalem, and loose thyself from the hands of the, thy neck, O captive daughter. Captive. We're captive. People are being held captive. O cattle daughter of Zion, for thus said the Lord, ye have sold yourselves. So a lot of us have sold ourselves by, you know, pornography, drugs, perversion, um, laying down with men and women, um, selling our bodies, drugs, all type of things. So it said, for thus said the Lord, ye have sold yourselves for not, and ye should be redeemed without money, the Lord said. He's going to redeem us without money, of course. For thus said the Lord God, and my people went down for a time into Egypt. The sons and there, and the Ezra oppressed them without cause. Now therefore, whatever I hear, said the Lord, that my people is taken away for not. They that have rolled over them, make them to howl, said the Lord, and my name continually every day, every day is blasphemy. So therefore, my people shall know my name. Therefore, they shall know in that day that I am he that doth speak. Behold, it is I. How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him that bringeth good tidings, that publisheth peace, that bringeth good tidings of good, that publisheth salvation, that saith unto Zion, that God reigneth. So look, the watchman said, The watchman shall lift up the voice, with the voice of God, they shall sing. So the Lord has watchmen. Watchmen are the watchmen that watch over for the body of Christ, the sermons, you know? It's just like the Spartan in the colonial times, when they're watching on top of the castle and they watch over for their enemies to intrude. 
that they warn. So this is about warning me. I'm warning brothers and sisters for the, for the things um, that's going on that you might not know of. So the watchmen shall lift up the voice with a voice together shall they shall sing, for they shall see eye to eye what the Lord shall bring against Zion. Break forth into joy, sing together, ye waste places of Jerusalem, for the Lord have comforted his people, he had redeemed Jerusalem. We declare that the Lord shall comfort us, and he shall redeem us. All that concerns us, he shall redeem our family, our soul, our health, our finances, our career, our ministry. We declare and declare that the Lord shall redeem our destiny. <clears throat> In Jesus' name. So now let's go to the next scripture. Let's go to the book of Zechariah 2, chapter 2. Let's go to Zechariah. Amen. So um, just know we're all are going through our warfare. None of us are exempt in this earth. None. Zechariah chapter 2, verses 7. Um, now it says this. Deliver thyself. Like I said, the Lord said, Deliver thyself, O Zion, that dwellers with the daughter of Bible. So deliver. Warfare. Don't be quiet. Get up, warfare, and get yourself out of bondage. Um, it says, it says, For thus said the Lord of hosts, After the glory hath he sent me unto the nations, which spoils you. So, you know, the Zion is spoiled. We're being spoiled by wicked men and women, by forces. For he that touches you touches the habit of his eye. So the Lord is saying, those, the wicked powers and the enemy agents of darkness that touch us, touch the apple of the Lord's eye. For behold, I will shake my hand upon them, that they shall be a spoil to their service. And ye shall know that I am the Lord of hosts, said the Son. So for the Lord, every wicked power, any witch or was any agent of the devil, any household enemy, external domestic of the Lord, shake your head against him, Lord. Shake your head against him, Lord. Shake your head against the Lord. In Jesus' name, all those that, that come against our family, our finances, our career, our ministry, our loved ones, our friends, our spouse, our husband, our wife, our friends, our family, our church. Oh God, our God, shake your head against the Lord. Shake your head against the Lord. Shake your hand against the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let's continue. Um, so he says, it says, Sing and rejoice, O daughter of Zion, for lo, I come, and I will dwell in the midst of thee, and say the Lord. And many nations shall be joined to the Lord in that day. And shall be my people, and I will dwell in the midst of thee. And thou shalt know that the Lord of hosts has sent me unto thee. And the Lord shall inherit Judah his portion. So the Lord is going to come back, of course. He said, Shall inherit Judah his portion in the holy land, shall choose Jerusalem again. Be silent, O all flesh, before the Lord, for he has raised them out of his holy habitation. Amen. So now let's go to the next one. We're going to go to Isaiah 49. So a lot of us have been held captive by our. Um, our own ancestral line, by ancestral curses, by ancestral demons, by foundational powers, by a household enemy. So these ancestral powers work, can even work through a family member. So before we go to Isaiah 49, let's go to Matthew 10, 36. A lot of us don't know we have, um, you know, people that's in our family line that aren't human. They're not human. They might be talking like you and me, but they're not human. The, the spirit is it's an entity. They have an entity in them, a demon. Just like you can't hold the spirit, you have a demon within one of our family members. Uh, so Matthew 10, 36, um, says this, 34 said, Think not that I'm coming to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. For I'm come to set a man advance against his father and the, and the daughter against her mother and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And the man's foe should be they of his own household. So, you know, yeah, people that's all of every it's in every family were being conspired against. If you're righteous, you're on the path of righteousness, and the Lord is, you know, delivers you. You're gonna be fought against one of your family members, and they they call, you know, I forgot what it's called, but they're not human. Big, they're basically vipers, like a viper. And the Lord even called when he was in the synagogue. He said, "You old, you old vipers, you generation of vipers." You know, it's no, it's really, it's no deliverance for you. There's no deliverance for for a viper. Um, um, so let's get Isaiah 49 26 so we have vipers in this earth serpents human human serpent agents and it says this verses 25 and let's go to 24 so a lot of us are held where pray it says shall the prey be taken for the mighty or the lawful cat is delivered so we're lawful cat does that mean we we the enemy has a um, a legal right to hold his cat, Satan and his agents, um, and his martyrs, you know, demons and witches and wizards. Um, 
But it, the Lord says this. But thus said the Lord, even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away. So he's saying that us that are held captive in this earth shall be taken away for the mighty. So my sexual demons, strong man. And, it's, and I'm going to go to that. Said, uh, and the prey the terrible shall be delivered. For I will contend with him that contend with thee. And I will say thy children. I will feed them that oppress thee with their own flesh. And they shall be drunken with their own blood. It's with sweet wine. And all flesh shall know that I am the Lord. I'm the Savior. And the and thy Redeemer, the mighty one of Jacob. So the Lord is going to deliver for the mighty. And sexual demons that are holding us captive. Keeping us in sickness and disease. Keeping us in poverty. Keeping us in back when it's hatred rejection but everywhere we go we're receiving hatred rejection their programming has been programmed by ancestral demons and these are the ancestors our ancestors worship these deities these entities these false gods marine gods that are being still alive through a bloodline and still holding us captive because we fail to worship these spirits are saying they're not worshiping me so i'm gonna oppress this family from gen one generation to the next until that evil family pattern and generally because it's broken to those evil evil soul ties and the evil covenants are broken so the lord is saying he, he will contend against those powers that be that oppress us with the end they should be oppressed with their own flesh they should be drunk with their own blood as with sweet wine and all flesh you know that i'm the lord the savior the redeemer the mighty one of jacob so with that being said if you go to mark let's go to mark and this is still dealing with, uh, like, you know, our own foundation, family line. Psalm 11, 3. The Lord, can, um, King David said, the foundation be destroyed. What can the righteous do? So the foundation is your family. If it's not right. What can the righteous do? You're going to always be oppressed and always be hunted by the powers that be within your foundation. Um, Mark 3, 25. They said, and if a house be divided against itself, the house cannot stand. So this is about Jesus speaking to the, the um, Sadducees. You know, they were always trying to call they were trying to call him a devil because he was casting out devils. And the Lord said, how can the devil cast out devil? He said, how can Satan cast out Satan? And if a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. So Satan's kingdom cannot stand against the kingdom of God. So the kingdom of heaven is not divided against itself. So, and if Satan rises up against himself and, and to be divided, he cannot stand, but has an end. So any wicked power within our family line has an end. So no man can enter into a strong man's house and support his goods, except he will first bind a strong man and then he will support his house. So I, for all of us, we will not be able to receive the goodness of the Lord and the blessings that the Lord has ordained until we first destroy the strong man that is operating through whatever family member. You had to, you had to take him out. They're being used as a vessel. So um now let's go to the book of Jeremiah 5 25. Jeremiah 5. Jeremiah 5. Um says this. Your iniquities have turned away. So this is uh, this is my unjust leaders. And even us, we said he's speaking to the to the people of this earth today. This is still the same. This is still how he feels. Your iniquities have turned away these things, and your sins have withholding good things from you. For among my people are found wicked men. So a fun <clears throat> for so so among us are wicked men that are holding us captives, that are hunting the souls of the children of God. For it says, for among my people are found wicked men that they lay wait as he as he said. As he that set of snares, or they set a trap, they catch men. As the cage is full of birds, so are their houses full of deceit. And therefore, they have become great and wax and rich. So this is done by this is done by witchcraft, wickedness. So they are wax and fat; they shine, yet they overpass the deeds of the wicked. So they even overpass the deeds of the wicked. The Lord is saying, that means they're doing worse than the wicked. It says that they judge not the cause. They, they, this is this, this the cause of the fatherless. Yet they prosper. Yet they prosper in their wickedness. And the right and the needy do they not judge? Shall I not visit for these things? So the Lord shall not my soul be avenged on such a nation as this. And wonderful and horrible thing is committed in the land. The prophets prophesy falsely, and the priests bear rule by their means. And my people would love to have it so. And what will you do in the end thereof? So even the prophets, the false prophets, are even, even doing the work of the devil. So let's go to the book of Psalms 124. Psalms 
so the basis of the false prophets and the warlocks and sorcerers are basically doing the same thing because these prophets are not really prophets they're doing the things of a warlock or sorcerer or witch or wizard a taskmaster a soothsayer so they might be on the, on TV or they might have be on have their own YouTube channel and their prophets are speaking in tongues but they go to evil altars in the bathroom or in their home or go to a temple so um, Psalm 24 so these are the things that are going to be destroying the people in the body of Christ these times so we gotta you know can't keep up our flows we gotta let people know about this um, so it says, Blessed, verse, this is Psalm 24, verse 6. It says, Blessed be the Lord who hath not given us as a prey to their teeth. So it's only by the Lord's mercy that we are not given to the prey, to the, as prey to the enemy, to the wicked. Our soul is escaped as a bird out of the snare of the fowler, and the snare is broken, and we are escaped. So our soul, the Lord will cause, for the Lord, we ask you to say, Cause our soul to escape. Cause the souls of our lovers. Cause the sword of our, of our church family to escape out of the snares of the Father. And let the snares be broken, O oh Lord. Let the snares be broken. Let it be trapped in the enemy. Be broken. Every spiritual and physical child. Let it be broken in the name of Jesus. And we are escaped. O oh Lord, cause our soul to escape, O oh Lord. Cause the sword of our lovers to escape in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. So they can ensnare you by sacrifices. Um. Say, our, uh, uh, even on vacation, they can invoke your soul. So it says, our soul, our help is in the name of the Lord who made the heavens and the earth. In Jesus' name, amen. So with that said, let's get to the book. Of, this is the last scripture. Let's go to Lamentations. Chapter 3. Then we're going to do the prayer. We already praying already. We, 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 when we pray along with the scriptures, there's basically a prayer point. So we're praying on top of prayers. Um... Lamentations, Lamentations chapter 3, verse 5. It is says it's right here. And at the top of this is the rod of God's wrath. So the Lord's gonna have he's gonna send out his wrath against the wicked for what they have done. For what they're doing. Say so he hath built it up against me. He hath compassed me about with a gall and travail. He hath set me in dark places as they that be dead of old. He hath hedged me about that I cannot get out. He hath hath made my chain heavy. So this is even the Lord. The Lord can even put us in bondage as well for, you know, our sins, for the things that we've done. Said he hath enclosed, he says, also when I cry and shout, he shutteth out my prayer. He hath enclosed my ways with hewn stones. It's like being locked down. You can't move. Your soul is being in bondage. Said he hath made my path crooked. He was unto me as a bear lying awake. It is a line of secret place. He hath turned aside in my ways and pulled me in pieces. He hath made me the desolate. You know, scatter you dust, your finances, your peace, your joy, your health, desolate. He hath caused the arrows of his, of his quiver to enter into my reins. I was a derision to all my people. It is song all the day. He hath filled me with bitterness. He hath made me drunken with wormwood. He hath also broken my teeth with gravel stones. He hath covered me with ashes. And thou hast removed my soul far off from peace. I, for, I forgot my prosperity. <clears throat> And, and I said, my strength and my hope is perished for the Lord, remembering my affliction and my misery, the wormwood and, and the gall. My soul had them still in remembrance, and it's humbled in me. So, you know, through this affliction and bondage that we put ourselves in, and through the affliction that the Lord places upon us because of a transgression, right? It says, and I am humble. We are humble. It said, this I recall in my mind. Therefore, have I hope. It is of the Lord's mercy that we are not consumed. So even though we fall short of the Lord's will, the Lord will deliver us and we will come up with greater substance he said because his compassions were not they are new every morning where is our faith the lord is my portion said to my soul therefore will i hope in him so the lord rather do this to us and put us in affliction than to us to live a whole life of wickedness and never feel any consequence for him because that means Satan will but pretty much has us and we will go to hell right with him so you know we don't never see the bigger picture of why things happen to us at the end of the day. The Lord knows what to do and what to allow and what not to allow. Um, so with that being said, let's do this prayer. <clears throat> so let's do it. Um, I'm going to pray along after me. We're going to say, Santa, Santa the market, where my soul and the soul of my lovers have been sold. In the name of Jesus. Catch fire. In the name of Jesus. Let's do it. 
Satan, Satan, him up. Where my soul, where the son of my daughter must have soul. Catch you under the name of Jesus. 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 Let's do it again. Set at the marks where my soul and the soul of my daughter have been soul. Catch you under the name of Jesus. Catch you under the name of Jesus. Catch you under the name of Jesus. And then we're going to see we will cover. By fire, by the I will cover so by fire. I will cover so by the blood of Jesus. I will cover so by the blood of Jesus. I will cover so by the blood of Jesus. I will cover so by the blood of Jesus. We will cover by fire. We will cover by fire. We will cover them in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And then we're going to say, now we don't even know. We could have met a wicked businessman. We could have met a wicked uh, preacher, doctor, nurse, um, and even... Even at an interview, we could have shook hands with a with a devil. We didn't even know it. So, any wicked businessman, any wicked witch, any wizard, any wicked doctor, any wicked preacher, teach him, any wicked nurse, in the name of Jesus, that is profiting for the children of our soul, die in the name of Jesus, die in the name of Jesus, die in the name of Jesus, and the mighty name of Jesus, and the mighty name of Jesus. Any wicked businessman, any wicked preacher, any wicked prophet, any wicked nurse, any wicked doctor that is trade our soul. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's do it again. I'm never going to do this. Any power, one fat, on my problems, in the name of Jesus. Die by fire. Die by fire. Die by fire. Die by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. Any power going fat on my problems in the part of my family. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. We'll do this prayer more than one time. Then we're going to say, Any cage, any chain holding me captive. Hold on my double scat in any coven in the name of Jesus. Break in the name of Jesus. Break in the name of Jesus. Break in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, do it again. Any witchcraft chain, any sensitive chains, any demonic chains, any ancestral chains, any witchcraft cage, any ancestral cage, any demonic cage, hold on me on my double scat in any coven. Break! 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 Break in the name of Jesus. Break in the name of Jesus. Break in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Then we're going to say, Powers, a sign away to my life on anybody else's life. You are a joker. Die in our place in the name of Jesus. Die in our place in the name of Jesus. Die in our place in the name of Jesus. Let's do it again. Any power for the pit of hell. Any power for my sexual line. Any power for my foundation. Any power from my, my birthplace. So, I mean, you, you can be even fought against power your birthplace. Now, we declare that you show die in that place. Die in that place. Die in that place. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. And I'm going to say, I beg myself. I beg my family for the power of sin to be with me. In the mighty name of Jesus. If you read the book of Galatians 3.13, matter of fact, let's go there. Let's, matter of fact, let's go to Acts 12. Go to Acts 12 so you really understand. Bewitched is a form of witchcraft. Bewitched. You know, Adam and Eve will be witched to eat for the tree of evil. So, um, Acts 12. And it says this. Now, by that time, Hebrew the king stretched forth his hands to vex her to other church. And he killed, just says vex. So, I mean, he, he, he vexed a certain people of the church. So, and he killed James, the brother of John, but the swore. Remember, he, he beheaded John the Baptist because he was against people that preached the word. So, that because he saw that it pleased the Jews, he proceeded further to take Peter also. So, this is the spirit of Hebrew. So, this spirit can still operate <clears throat> through our bloodline, through people. 
to a person that's he was a king. So they could the spirit could operate through kings. And there were the days of unleavened bread, but he had apprehended him. He put him in prison and delivered him to four quarantines of soldiers to keep him and intending at the east to bring him forth to the people. Peter, therefore, was kept in prison, but prayer was made without ceasing unto church and unto God for him. And when the hero would have brought him forth the same night, Peter was sleeping between two soldiers bound with two chains that the keepers before the door kept the prison. And behold, the angel of the Lord came upon him and the light shined in the prison, and he smote Peter on the side, and raised him up and sang, Arise up quickly, and the shame fell him off from off his hands. So the Lord caused the divine intervention. So we depend on the divine intervention to deliver us from every bondage, every snare, every trap of the enemy. So if you go to verses 22, set upon a set day, he wrote a raid on royal apparel, set upon his throne, and made an oration unto them. And the people gave a shout, saying, It is the voice of a God and not of a man. So he remember, he, he bewitched. And use witchcraft to cause you to think he was a god. <clears throat> and he immediately the angel of the Lord smote him because he gave not God the glory. And he was eating of worms and gave up the ghost. But the word of God grew and multiplied. So that's what his whole plan and his assignment was to stop the word of God from multiplying. And Barnabas and Saul returned from Jerusalem where they had fulfilled their ministry. And they took him with John, whose surname was Mark. So you read the book of Galatians, chapter 3, verse 1. And Paul was speaking to. Uh, God, who's speaking? What did you say? Who is bewitched you, O Galatians? So, uh, bewitched. How does that be? He bewitches. So, then we're going to say, I beg myself. I beg my family from every sense that it bewitched. I beg yourself, Lucifer free. I beg yourself, Lucifer free. I beg yourself, Lucifer free. In the name of Jesus. Every sense that it bewitched. On for me and my family. I beg you by fire. Beg by fire. Beg, beg, beg. Break, break, break in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. And I'm gonna say, any persons, any age of the devil, any witch, any witch that summoned my, my spirit or my double spirit or any evil altar, in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Any devil, any witch, any witch, any household enemy, any hero, any Jezebel, summoning me or my, my double spirit on any altar. Die in the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And last but not least, they can do this by giving you evil fool. You can go to the wrong place at the wrong time. And the marine spirit or the demon can use them to give you evil fool. And they can do incantations over and chairman. It's called a concussion. Evil fool, evil drink. And this is how they can exchange your glory of verses. That's they can curse you, bewitch you, manipulate you, all type of things. So be careful on what you eat from and always pray with your food. <clears throat> Father, every demonic caterer, feeding me and my daughters in the dream, on the physical. We nullify the effects. We nullify by the blood of Jesus. Let them die in the name of Jesus. Let them die in the name of Jesus. Let them die in the name of Jesus. Father, every demonic caterer. Feeding me and my daughters in a dream or in a physical. They don't fall down and die! 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 die! In the name of Jesus. Die! In the name of Jesus. Die! In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen and amen. God bless you guys. I declare and declare. It is well with you. Keep war, fam. And we thank you, Lord, for the answer press. We bless you. We give you the honor and the glory. We thank you for we know that you heard us. In Jesus' name, we bless you. Father, come in. We declare and declare, surely, your goodness and mercy will find us all the days of our life. In Jesus' mighty name, we bless you. Amen and amen. Peace.